Whether we look at it as a joy or a chore, at some point you're probably going to have to shovel some snow. It's important to take into consideration your own limitations. This may be health issues you might have, or just your own strength or capabilities at the time. One of the best ways to get yourself hurt is trying to go too fast or trying to lift too much snow at one time to remove it. It's also important to take into consideration the technique and the which way you're moving the snow. If at all possible, it's better off to push the snow than, rather than trying to lift it. It's a good way to hurt your lower back or, or to overexert yourself and cause other um, injuries or potential issues. There's different options for types of shovels and it's really a personal preference, so try them out, see which one you like and what works best for you. If you don't have a lot of snow or if it's a really dry snow that, that you can move easily, you could also use a broom to remove that snow. This could work good if you have a situation where you have a lot of cracks in the cement, such as on a driveway or something, where a shovel continues to get caught, the broom might be a better option for you. So in the wintertime, you may not be able to stop to smell the flowers, but you can take some time to enjoy the winter season. In your snow removal efforts, slow down, take your time, and keep yourself healthy. This has been Caleb Carter from the University of Wyoming Extension, and you're watching From the Ground Up.